When it comes to multiplying matrices together, you need to have, they don't have to be the same order, they can be the same order, but it's more important that when you have two matrices, that if you're doing A times B, so matrix A times matrix B, the columns in matrix A are the same as the rows in matrix B. So that tells you whether you can or cannot. If they are the same, you can do it. If they are not the same, you cannot do it. The other two give you the order of the result. So if you're able to do it, so if this value and this value are the same, then these two will give you the order of the result. So I'll go through, I'll draw an example and go through an example with you now. So here are two matrices A and B. A is a 2 by 2 and B is a 2 by 3. Rows times columns, don't forget that. Rows times columns. So if I wanted to do A times B, to check whether I could do it, I go 2 by 2, right, and I put that in brackets, by 2 by 3. And these two numbers are the same, so the number of columns in matrix A is the same as the number of rows in matrix B, so I can do it. And my resulting matrix is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. So to work that out, what you do is you go this row by this column. 3 by 2 plus 2 by 1 gives you the top value here. If we work to this column now, 3 by 3 plus 2 by 4 and the last column will be 3 by 1 plus 2 by 7. To work out the bottom one we do 4 so we do the we now work with the bottom row and we go back through the columns so we go 4 by 2 plus 7 by 1 4 by 3 plus 7 by 4 and 4 by 1 plus 7 by 7. Shift it over slightly so you can see what we're doing. So if you go through and work out each of these values, this is the, this is the matrix you come out with, this is the answer. So A times B is this matrix here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some colouring and show you how that all comes about. So I'm going to shade that orange. that red, blue, green, and this one yellow. So those numbers all come into our multiplication matrix down the bottom here. So 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. So that top row is in each of the top ones there. The bottom row of the first matrix of matrix A is going along the bottom row there. This blue row here goes there. The green is there and the yellow is there. So you can see where all of those numbers come from. I think that may, might make it easier for you to see where things come from. If not, ignore it. You don't need to use the colours. It's just, I, that's the way I see them working and see them bringing the colours in. Now there is something else I need to talk about and that is that while you can do A times B, that doesn't necessarily mean you can do B times A. So remember, A was a 2 by 2, B was a 2 by 3. Okay, and A times B came out at 8, 15, 17, 40, 17, 53. I'm going to work out calculation here of B times A. Okay, 
okay? So that's a 2 by 3 by 2 by 2. These two numbers, the rows in the first one, are not equal to the columns in the second one. Sorry, wrong way around. The columns in the first one are not equal to the rows in the second one. So therefore, we cannot do it. All right, because these two numbers are not the same. So that leads us to a rule that B times A does not equal A times B when it comes to matrices. So unlike normal maths, so maths with numbers, where you get 6 times 2 equals 12, which is the same as 2 times 6, that doesn't work in matrices. Okay, and this example here shows you why. Because if you've got a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 3 matrix, you can do A times B, as we did over on the page here. We worked out A times B. But you cannot do B times A because it doesn't line up properly here. The columns and the rows aren't correct. So this rule which you're used to using doesn't apply to matrices. So you cannot just assume because you did A times B and you get this answer up here, that is not the same as B times A. As with any great rule, there is always an exception. And their exception is called the identity matrix. Okay, so the identity matrix is always square. Okay, and it has ones going diagonally and zeros everywhere else. So this is a three by three identity matrix. A two by two identity matrix would look like this. Okay, so they're both identity matrix, they're always square, and this does happen. So if I multiply matrix A by the identity matrix, that will just equal A because it's like multiplying by 1. Okay, it's almost the same, well it is the same as multiplying by 1, and that's the same as identity times by A. Okay, 